Well, another kind of animal was recently discovered at the Great Salt Lake. Researchers say it's not only brine shrimp or brine flies that live in the water. Yep, as new specialist Shelby Lofton learned, it's also home to a type of worm. Thousands of these tiny worms were found in the Great Salt Lake, and it took years to find them. When a group of scientists is forced outside, we uh, were sort of kicked out of the labs during the pandemic. They'll find experiments in the field. One of the hikes around Antelope Island, I saw this sign that said only brine flies and brine shrimp can survive in the hypersaline portions of the lake. University of Utah assistant professor Michael Werner decided he would try to prove that sign is wrong. We didn't know that we'd find anything. Researcher Julie Jung led the project. They explored Antelope and Fremont Islands by boat and bike scooping up water and testing it to see if another species existed. While they worked, they encountered bison and swarms of flies. There's lots of spiders there, too. But they were looking for nematodes, another name for roundworms. Werner says they're nothing like the earthworms we're familiar with. And they're transparent. And microscopic. Really hard to see with the naked eye. Zhang discovered they live in these coral reef-like structures called microbialities. So everything is sort of linked in this ecosystem, and we just found another player that might be involved. Werner says they help with nutrient cycling for plants. They also can be pathogens of insects that can um, be big problems for our crops. The worm's existence tells them more about where else animals can survive, and that could include outer space. There are frozen lakes on Titan and Europa and, and Mars that have dried up in the past, that have kind of been through a lot of parallel history. If the roundworms can survive the Great Salt Lake, what else is out there? There's much more to be discovered. The research doesn't end here. Next, they're gonna take a look at how these roundworms interact with the brine shrimp and flies, the other species they share this home with. On the University of Utah's campus, Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News.